Yeah, five plus six. Oh, we had a we had a split, by the way. Hello, citizens, brother, my nation of Aragon. Welcome to the frontiers of Winger of Gonzalez Four, Mana Nostrum attempt. Yeah, so they stack. I will have nine more states next next admin tech. That is wonderful. And glorious. And all kinds of amazing. And it would also be very amazing if I could finally accept this goddamn institution already. 1,000 more ducats, and I'll have it. Also, our economy is doing much better now. 19.39 ducats a month. I wonder why is that? Maybe I could go... More advisors? Diplo rep? Plus three guy? Um, no, no, that's too risky. I'd go if there was a plus two guy in there, but we know we don't have plus two guys. It's somehow a problem with the advices these days. You either get plus one or plus three if you're a big nation. You don't get plus two anymore. I think they should change that a little bit. Like the chance seems not very great, not very, not very well balanced. Commandant has died. Yeah, like C one one three. How? What the fuck is that shit? University. Alright, we can now make a bunch more states. I think we can state everything we have now, actually. That will require more cores, but... Eh, go for it eventually. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll need more cores. Guess I should make more money now. Yeah, a bit more. A bit more for a few more years. It, it stacks. It all adds up. We have two extra states as well now that we can form. That's pretty nice. We're gonna come in handy when we integrate our years. That's gonna be a lot of states. Should I switch my focus to administrative? I kind of like my power gain as is. So maybe I'll just, if I need more admin power, I'll just get an advisor for more admin power. In fact, let's go ahead and do it now. Plus three extra tax. Uh, plus ten percent extra tax modifier. That seems good. I'm gonna pay for himself a little bit. Yeah, we're making really good money now. Again. Come on, France. Yeah. Oh, and we are now well connected. <laughs> That's really good timing on that on that to come in. We can actually pick up a second plus three, maybe then. Trade efficiency, yeah. Yeah, that's that's really good. That's really good. Making nine ducats with two plus three advisors is uh, really good, if I may say so myself. Do 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 do. Can start making some fours. Mm hmm. 1619, come on. September 1620. That will solve our problem with the last remaining slot. Oh, France likes us. Of course it does. French La Plata is a thing. I guess maybe France is not declaring any independence war because he's doing colonial things and he's like, I don't want to bother him doing colonial things. Looks like my modifier exp Oh, fuck. No, please. No. God, please, no. Provence. Do I have... Do I really have to truce break? No. <laughs> Don't declare, France. Uh, can I declare on Savoy? Shit. Maybe I should have declared on Savoy instead. I'm calling Provence just to keep Provence in the war. <sighs> Fuck. I don't know, man. Please don't declare France. Lose lips. I don't wanna I don't wanna restart. Uh, uh. This is gonna be a restart. This is, this is this is gonna be a restart, isn't it? Inquisitor. It's level one though. Oh. Oh. Bah. Gah. I'll wait. Don't attack yet. 
Don't attack for a couple more years. Does he have loose lips? He has loose lips. Ah, France, no, no, <laughs> shit. <laughs> you pigeon Poopenheimer. Ah, Provence is gonna get crushed. Fuck, I'll restart. Yeah, Pigeon Poopenheimer, yeah. Dingus. Alright, so here's what you do, guys. If you encounter a scenario where you're like, Nope, I'm out. And it's a Iron Man game. You open the task manager and kill your opening status 4 process. And then you can restart your game as normal. And it will continue from uh, a state before that. I'm, I'm still, I still think France is just going to declare. No matter what. But if that happens, I will have to simply truce break and delay the war from ending. Because truce breaking is going to give me 60 flat aggressive expansion. Well, 50 if I break the royal marriage first. 50 flat aggressive expansion, reduced further by aggressive expansion modifiers, of course, but there are not many of them. Ah, uh, this is such a bad situation to be in. I should have revoked the guarantee, though. This is completely my fault for being for not paying enough attention to Provence. <sighs> also, it is my fault, my past self's fault, for guaranteeing freaking Provence. Well, who would who would have thunk it that uh, Provence would get a personal union over France, eh? Continue game. Oh, also, <laughs> that's like five episodes in, but you might notice that. The game looks kind of different. Also, I just noticed Poland integrated Lithuania manually. That's just disgusting. Oh. Oh, oh, get it away from me. Oh. Alright. So let's try this one more time and hope that France didn't just not declare the war. Okay. No war yet. Just need uh, to wait a year and a half. Come on, France, just a year and a half. You can do this, you bloodthirsty motherfucker. And pay attention to every notification I get. Ah, fuck. They declared independence. Alright, so I have to truce break then. I'll have to truce break. The Provence. Get the Union over France. It is most despicable. Oh, shit. I did that wrong, didn't I? I quit the game instead of... Doing... Oh, it's gonna... It's gonna do the wave. It's gonna do the wave. Alright, what other thing? What other things I could do? Alright, so I think I think when I'm gonna load the game now, it's gonna be fucked. Because France will be at war with France already. Because I didn't do it the way I just described it. I just described how to do this. And then I was like, ah, I'll just quit the game. Fuck me. This guy is going for the freaking Mara Nostrum achievement. <laughs> so stupid. I hate myself right now. I really do. Yes, it's 17 of books. Is there a backup save maybe that I could load? Oh, thank God for backup saves, eh? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. Well, it's uh, still no war. France is still no war with Provence. Now that I think about it, maybe we could just... I don't know. It's June. The Loose Lips was like in March or something like that. Well... Tunis claimed Syracuse. Breaks to break the royal marriage. I don't want to do this. <laughs> this expansion. 
<laughs> Look at all this aggressive expansion though. Uh, they could call in Austria. Sure, fuck it, let's call in Austria. Whatever. We're truce breaking. We're truce breaking, boys. We're breaking the truce, boys. <sighs> Your war exhaustion is high. Your stability is low. What are you, a fucking madman? What is going on? And you're gonna take even more aggressive expansion because, you know... That's just how it works. You take land, you get aggressive expansion. Gerada has entered the coalition against you. Yeah. You know, as entered the coalition, it's not papal state. They're all very upset. They are all extremely fucking upset, and so is France. 46 from aggressive expansion. General De Luna is not gonna serve us. He's like, fuck this, I'm out. Oh, this guy's actually a really good general. Let's put him in charge. Move this over to Provence. Well, life goes on. Uh, we had to truce break. That's not the worst thing that could have happened. It is worth to truce break for a PU over fucking France, I think. So we're gonna do exactly that. We're gonna truce break. If we have to truce break for France, we will truce break for France. Savoy is actually really powerful. Hello. Hello. Alright, we'll retreat. <clears throat> it's my fault for attacking them in the mountains, but you know. Who would have who would have thought? Um let's move over here. Hey Savoy, you want out yet? No? Okay. Okay then. I'll just sit by in these hills over here. Um, I don't really want to blockade with transports. They have a navy. Oh, nope, we didn't get... Ah, oh, fuck. That was a bad idea. Let's sort you out. That should help. Oh, we're still losing? What the heck is this general? Oh, or, or actually, what the fuck are those rolls? <laughs> those are fucking horrendous. Alright, let's move over here. To Navarra. We'll sit in Navarra. We need more stability. Stability. We need to prevent internal conflicts. How do you prevent that? Unrest lower than zero. Well, yeah, we just need to get rid of our negative stability and get into positives. Our uh, siege speed, though, is... Wow. Siege speed is pretty good. It's a pretty good dude. Our siege speed is a good dude. Oh, we have to. Yeah, we can't move into Georgian Okay. We won the siege of Cuneo. Can we move into Drogino? Oh, I think we should just go into Savoye. And we'll move. We'll move uh, with the navy. Ooh. I'm sure I know some people. Oh, I get money and prestige. That's a really good one thing. Oh, get out. Get out. Leave my transports alone. Ah. Oh. Leave my transports alone, you piece of shit. Alright, you know what I need? I need an advisor for better relations over time. <clears throat> That's what I need. 
general will no longer, no longer serve us. That's not good. It's not good at all. You can have an idea. It's a trade one. Extra Merton. Ah, what what's wrong with me today? I can't I can't speak for shit. Extra merchants. That's what it that's how you do it. Extra merchants. Yeah. Alright, well let's get the positive stability. I mean to zero. Trading in wine, thank god for that. Genoa declared on Savoy, who gives a shit? Just don't declare on Provence, no? Austrians are under attack. Well, their godly general is doing work, but you know. Oh wow, he killed so many French there. France is a hundred percent, right? Yeah, one hundred percent. Venice entered a military coalition. Who gives a shit? No one does. I do you give a shit? I don't give a shit. It's actually not that bad.